Hi, my name is Dr. Kerry D'Ambrosio. I'm a senior body talk instructor and a practitioner. I'm also an osteopath, a physical therapist, and a, a doctor of oriental medicine. The purpose of this uh, five minute video is to introduce to you a course I'm teaching, body talk orthopedic evaluation. As we go through life, we're subjected to various forms of stresses. For example, physical stress. You could get into a car accident, have a sports injury or fall. You could also have physical stress at your work, just the your ergonomics, your body positioning, so overstrain injuries. We can also have electromagnetic stresses from power lines, cell phones, electrical equipment. Um, also biochemical stresses, the foods we eat, emotional stresses. All these different stresses, what they do is create tension in your body, uh, tension in your fascia. And this creates abnormal posture, this creates abnormal range of motion, and it also creates a barrier in the body a barrier to the movement of vital structures. For example, blood flow. Blood carries with it oxygen and nutrition to every cell in the body. When we talk about a venous return and lymphatic return, this takes away waste products. Energy has to move through these tissues, as well as neural flow. So when we create these barriers, it disrupts the body's ability to function on a daily basis, homeostasis, as well as take care of itself. So this would create uh, disharmony, a disease or dysfunction. Just remember that motion is life. In the class, we're going to teach you that there's three causes of dysfunction. So if somebody comes to you with a headache, a, a sore shoulder, back, there's usually three causes. It's either mechanical, non-mechanical, or a combination of the two. If we look at mechanical, we can divide it into two sections, either congenital or acquired. Congenital means you were born a certain way. So you came into this world with a neurological disorder, cystic fibrosis, cerebral palsy, uh, maybe at a club foot, right, a scoliosis, something happened. Or if it's not that, it's acquired, meaning some, you were born okay, but something happened to you during your life. You had a car accident, you had surgery, you had a fall, you know, something happened. And these mechanical distortions, right, they create tension in your muscles, in your fascia, and again, they create disruptions in the alignment of your bones, and they create sort of barriers to the movement of those vital structures that we talked about. We also have non-mechanical. Non-mechanical has to do with things like um, viruses, uh, bacteria, uh, toxins, your diet, electromagnetic forces, environment, climate, emotions, all the things outside the body. These things here also create tension in muscles and fascia and disturb uh, posture and range of motion and create joint restrictions. So what's interesting is that a patient can come to you with a headache or shoulder pain and it could be mechanical or it could be non-mechanical or usually it's going to be a sort of a combination. Clients typically come to us for a couple of reasons. For me, especially with my background, it's pain or lack of function. They can't do something like play golf or go to work or lift their arm over their head. They could also come to you for a fear or phobia or, you know, it's a matrix planning session. They're trying to create a better family environment or, or work environment. They're trying to work through these issues. Most practitioners that they're going to see out there are following sort of a Cartesian-based theory. And this has to do with sort of a mechanistic theory. It looks at the body as if it was kind of black and white. For example, if you had like a shoulder dysfunction and you went to one of these practitioners, they would typically just look at your shoulder. They would evaluate the muscles, maybe the joint around that area, but they would not think that there's anything else that would contribute to it. And they're basically looking at it from a mechanical point of view. But if you look at the shoulder, the shoulder, we'll teach in the class, can be influenced from the foot, the knee, uh, the pelvis, the SI joint, anywhere in the spine, the pelvis, the cranium, anywhere in the body. And not just mechanically. It can also be non-mechanical or a combination like we talked about. So in this particular class, you're going to learn to do a full body evaluation. You're going to learn to use your eyes to look at posture. See, when people are holding on to, we call it body armoring, tension in their body, they're going to be distorted. There's a phrase I like to use, the body loves the lesion. So if you had a lesion here in your chest, your body will tend to realign towards that area. So there's going to be certain clues through posture. We're also going to use our hands. We're going to put our hands on people and we're going to evaluate range of motion. This is moving a joint through its normal full range of motion. Typically people should have normal range of motion. It should be a nice soft springy infill. We're going to teach you how to evaluate uh, the ankles, the knees, the hips, the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, the cervical spine, the rib cage, the upper extremity, the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder. So you're going to learn to evaluate all these areas and feel for what's normal and what's abnormal. 
We're also going to do something called tension tests. And this is where we're going to place our hands on the body and we're going to gently sink into the tissues. Normally the body should invite us in. We should be able to sink into a bone, to a joint, to a muscle, an organ. And when we get in through there, as we take our hands off, the body part should follow us back out if it's nice and healthy. If there's any type of tension in there, mechanical or non-mechanical, so there could be consciousness issues, emotions, things like that. If they're stuck in those areas, we're going to feel that tension. So we're going to quickly be able to go through the whole body and see where dysfunction is going to be. We're also going to use intuition. So uh, if you take classes like Mindscape, it teaches you how to um, use your right brain. We're going to tap into that a little bit. We're going to do exercises where um, you're going to look at the patient. You're not going to be able to touch them, but you have to figure out where their key lesions are. And then we're going to put our hands on there and see how accurate we were. What you're going to find out is Body Talk Orthopedic Eval is going to give you the edge. Because most practitioners out there are going to evaluate and treat your symptoms. Like I said, you come in with a shoulder problem, they're just going to look at the shoulder. We're going to look at your whole body very quickly and find out where the key areas that we have to work with. Now, this is, in this class, this is where Body Talk comes alive. When you come in this class, we are going to do lots of demonstrations. We are going to do full body evaluations. We're going to do body talk treatments. And you're going to see changes in posture. You're going to see changes in range of motion. You're going to see changes in tension. The good thing about this is that it brings it, you start to see what body talk can do. And this course is going to be especially good for instructors. If you're a teacher out there and you're teaching the different modules, what's going to happen is that when you go to do a demonstration and people come up and they can um, feel the differences in range of motion and tension test, they're going to jump into this, uh, this whole concept. They're going to believe it so much easier. Also, if you're a practitioner and you're working with your patients, your patients are going to be amazed to see the changes. You're going to be amazed. You know, you're going to start to build up your own credibility, your own awareness of this, and your patients are going to get excited about it. It's going to build up the credibility of body talk in your particular area. If you're doing research or case studies, it's also going to be uh, useful for that. This class is open to the general public. Um, anyone can take this. There's no prerequisites. And in this class, you're going to be uh, supplied with, uh, it's a very thick manual, lots of pictures. It's very highly illustrated, lots of arrows. Everything is in there. You don't need to take any uh, notes at all. And the manual basically help you learn the technique as well as all the demonstrations. It's mainly a hands-on course. There's lots of lecturing, but we do hands-on every day. We want to make sure that you have that information the last day. We use different uh, strategies like uh, visualization to help you get the information. And my teaching styles, I tend to repeat a lot. So I'll go through each day. We'll repeat every morning what we learned the day uh, before. So you can help you, uh, you know, learn this information much quicker. So I hope to see you at uh, the next class. Thank you.